So Windows 11 is getting a major upgrade with AI features and tools that are truly impressive. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Windows 11 and AI integration, from the new Windows Copilot, own NX Runtime, and the updated AI Microsoft Store, to the new tools available for developers to create apps powered by AI, and the latest features in Microsoft Paint. And before we begin, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Let's get started. So, Microsoft has been investing in AI for a long time, through its Azure cloud platform, its Bing search engine, and its Edge browser. But now, it's taking AI to the next level with Windows 11, which will be the first PC platform to announce centralized AI assistance to help people easily take action and get things done. They made this announcement at their yearly event for developers, Microsoft Build 2023, where they showed off the new features and experiences that will make Windows 11 the smartest operating system ever. Next, we're bringing the Copilot to the biggest canvas of all. The first Windows. and most exciting feature is Windows Copilot, which is an integrated AI assistant that will help you with anything you need on your PC. Windows Copilot is accessible via a button on the taskbar, and it opens up a sidebar that stays consistent across your apps, programs, and windows. It acts as your personal assistant, helping you take action, customize your settings, and seamlessly connect across your favorite apps. It is powered by Bing Chat, which is an AI chatbot that can answer your questions and perform tasks using natural language. You can type or speak to Windows Copilot using the chat box at the bottom of the sidebar, and it will respond with relevant information or actions based on what's currently on screen. For example, you can ask Windows Copilot to open an app, copy and paste text or images, snap windows side by side. Take a screenshot, check for updates, search the web, and much more. Also, Windows Copilot supports plugins, which means that you can use Windows Copilot to access features from third-party apps without leaving your current window. For example, you can use plugins to book a flight with Expedia, order food with Uber Eats, send an email with Outlook, or play music with Spotify. Okay, the second area that I want to talk about is the new AI tools for Windows 11 developers. Microsoft wants to empower developers to create next-generation AI-powered applications on Windows 11 using its Azure Cloud Platform and its ONNX Runtime Engine. ONNX stands for Open Neural Network Exchange, and it's a standard format for representing machine learning models that can run across different devices and platforms. With Onyx Runtime, developers can run their AI models on Windows 11 or other devices across CPU, GPU, NPU, or hybrid with Azure. ONX Runtime now supports the same API for running models on the device or in the cloud, enabling hybrid inferencing scenarios where your app can use local resources or leverage the power of Azure, depending on the situation. Microsoft has also partnered with various brands to optimize new AI tools for Windows 11, such as AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm. These partners have provided drivers, libraries, and SDKs that enable developers to use the latest hardware innovations and make AI perform better on Windows 11. So basically, developers can now create amazing applications that use natural language processing, computer vision, speech recognition, and other AI capabilities to offer rich and engaging experiences for Windows 11 users. Now, another interesting upgrade is the new AI integration inside the Microsoft Store, the Microsoft Store is the place where you can find and download apps, games, movies, TV shows, and more for your Windows 11 device. And now it's getting smarter with AI features and experiences. One of the new AI features is the Personalized Recommendations Engine, which uses machine learning to suggest content that matches your preferences and interests based on your browsing and purchase history. You can also see ratings and reviews from other users who have similar tastes as you. Another one is the Voice Search functionality which lets you use your voice to find what you're looking for. You can simply say what you want, such as show me action games or play the latest episode of The Mandalorian, and the Microsoft Store will show you the relevant results or start playing the content right away. And it is also getting a new design that makes it more visually appealing and user-friendly. The new design features a modern layout with larger icons, smoother animations, and faster loading times. It also supports dark mode, which is a popular feature among Windows 11 users. All right, 
So far, I've talked about how Windows 11 is becoming AI with the new Windows Copilot feature, the new AI tools for Windows 11 developers, and the new AI integration inside the Microsoft Store. But now I want to talk about some other notable updates and announcements from Microsoft related to Windows 11 and AI. One of the updates that Microsoft shared at Build 2023 was about Windows 11 and ARM-based systems. ARM stands for Advanced RISC-C Machine, and it's a type of processor architecture that is more power-efficient and flexible than traditional x86 processors. ARM-based systems are becoming more popular in devices such as smartphones, tablets, and laptops as they offer longer battery life, better performance, and thinner designs. Microsoft has brought ARM support to various programs, apps, and open-source projects that run on Windows 11. For example, they've released middleware projects such as WinUI 3, React Native for Windows, and Flutter for Windows, which help developers make apps that can run on both x86 and ARM devices. Microsoft has also enabled programs such as Visual Studio Code, PowerShell, and Edge DevTools to run natively on ARM devices. In addition, Microsoft has announced the planned availability of other programs for ARM-based devices, such as Adobe Photoshop Elements, Autodesk Sketchbook, Unity Editor, and Minecraft Java Edition. These programs will join the existing list of apps that already support ARM on Windows 11, such as Office 365, Netflix, Spotify, and Zoom. Another update was about Microsoft Teams Communities feature. Microsoft Teams is a communication and collaboration platform that lets you chat, call, meet, and work with your colleagues and friends. And now it's getting a new feature that will make it easier to connect with people who share your interests or passions. Communities. For example, you can join a community for your favorite hobby, sport, game, or show. You can also create your own community and invite others to join. Communities are different from teams in that they are more informal and open-ended and you don't need to be part of an organization or have a specific goal or project to join or create a community. You just need to have something in common with other members of the community. To be honest, this is a great way to expand your network, learn new things, and have fun with like-minded people. You can chat, share files, create polls, schedule events, and make video calls with your community members. And you can also customize your community with a name, description, logo, and cover photo. Microsoft Teams has introduced some fresh features to improve communities. For instance, you can now accept or decline requests to join a community, give certain members control as owners, and send posts as emails. You can also use the new integration with GroupMe, which is a free group messaging app that lets you chat with anyone who has a phone number. You can now use GroupMe to invite people to your communities or join existing ones. Now, I'm pretty sure you all know what RAR files are, and that until now, Windows did not support RAR files natively. You had to use third-party software or tools to open or extract RAR files on Windows. But soon, you will be able to do that without any hassle. Windows 11 will support RAR files natively, meaning you can open, extract, create, and modify RAR files using File Explorer or the context menu. And honestly, it will make working with RAR files a lot easier and smoother on Windows 11. All right, the final update is the long-awaited dark mode support for Microsoft Paint and improvements to its Zoom support. Microsoft Paint is one of the oldest and most beloved apps on Windows. It lets you create and edit simple drawings and images using basic tools and colors. However, Microsoft Paint has not received many updates or improvements over the years. But now Microsoft is finally giving Paint some love by adding dark mode support and improving its Zoom support. Dark mode is a feature that lets you switch the color scheme of an app or interface from light to dark. It can reduce eye strain, save battery life, and look more stylish. Many Windows 11 users prefer dark mode over light mode, and now they can enjoy it on Paint as well. Paint will automatically switch to dark mode if you have enabled it on your system settings, or you can manually toggle it on or off from the app settings. Paint will also get better zoom support, meaning you can zoom in or out of your canvas using your mouse wheel or touchpad gestures. Okay, so as you can tell, Windows 11 is getting smarter than ever with artificial intelligence features and tools that will help you get things done faster, easier, and better. 
and I would have to agree with their statement that it's the most intelligent operating system ever. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about Windows 11 AI integration. Do you like it, or do you think it's headed in the wrong way? What other AI features or updates would you like to see on Windows 11? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.